Nice to see you again. So we see you again in May this year, uh, 2023. A few words about uh, range. Uh, let's uh, look on it. Uh, so TV range, how we built this year. Uh, we split to streaming, uh, gaming and performance. Uh, so uh, uh, best value for streaming, uh, then uh, for gaming, all you need for uh, this kind of functionalities. And then for C84 performance, so mix of both. So uh, all what you might dream, dream uh, you get it. Then this is the range. Right now we have uh, three products uh, as uh, additions. So some of products stay from the past. So just basic uh, products uh, with uh, uh, streaming. Uh, then uh, the first uh, new product is C645. We don't cover it for you as part of ASA story. So uh, let's uh, jump it over. And then uh, we have uh, C845. This is the first range uh, we have uh, here. Uh, and 55 is our proposal uh, for you. So everything you need for excellent gaming experience, good TV set for you with full array local dimming, also with peak brightness and gaming functionalities. Then C845, uh, we have uh, much higher average brightness. We have also uh, more dimming zones because here we add mini LED. Uh, and uh, then you can uh, see it uh, side by side that this average br brightness and also peak brightness uh, makes uh, the difference. And uh, C93 remains for the time being as part of uh, the range. But when, we, uh, vis when you visit TCL at IFA, you might see new products coming and uh, changes which will be implemented. So, uh, gaming uh, on our side and uh, gaming strategy looks this way. So, casual gaming with game consoles starting from uh, uh, even uh, first products. Uh, and uh, then uh, we add uh, color functionalities. Then with C735 currently available and 745 we have for you, we add high refresh rate and also HDR gaming. Then uh, with C845, we add uh, higher brightness and also uh, more speculars. Uh, and then C935 uh, uh, is uh, with more dimming zones. So then if you ask for prices, and so the prices of these products will look this way, but I will send you this presentation so then you will have access uh, to slides. And uh, the full range, the full range uh, which is available right now in Europe looks uh, this way. And uh, then uh, there is slight difference for UK, but tomorrow I will cover it because we don't have uh, Mark with us. But uh, how this EL range is in fact uh, uh, positioned versus uh, products uh, from other brands you see here. This is just uh, uh, the latest version. Uh, and uh, then uh, areas uh, of products we address starting from streaming, best value, performance and ending up with uh, best uh, products. But uh, let's quickly cover our last part, which is uh, uh, our proposal for you. Uh, so then uh, C84, uh, the range is made of uh, four sizes, uh, starting from 55 up to 85 inch. Mini LED, uh, QLED uh, product is coming uh, with a uh, panel able to go up to 144 in uh, UHD and 240 in uh, Full HD. All HDR uh, formats, uh, high peak brightness, uh, 900 or 800 e nits of average brightness, which is extremely important for very bright room. Then the stand, uh, you can adjust uh, how high you want to have TV set uh, above. Uh, uh, so if you want to put sandbar uh, below, so then you can move it uh, uh, a bit higher. And uh, then what we change between C83, uh, you see here, we add sizes, we double uh, dimming zones, uh, uh, we improve on picture processing, uh, then we add uh, more uh, motion capabilities, and then we also add uh, more gaming options. You will get from us all the measurements. So then uh, this is, these are just measurements done a few days ago on uh, BT 2020 and uh, DCI P3 gamut coverage. Out of the box uh, looks like this. So of course it can be 
calibrated, but in general, uh, these are uh, standard uh, HDR uh, functionalities. Uh, uniformity and then gamut coverage where you are, where you are when you are off the center looks uh, this way and uh, ANSI contrast uh, and also how APL is managed, uh, you see uh, this uh, way. So anyway, you see on this specific product, uh, the full white is 800 nits, uh, which is uh, extremely bright. And then peak is around 40 something APL, which is 2200 uh, nits. Then a blue light filter works this way. It is fully certified by uh, TUV. Uh, so what we talk about toxic blue is below 415 nanometers. In fact, uh, the peak of blue is 448. And uh, then when we apply blue light filter, so then uh, we dim the blue light. Uh, and uh, that's why you have similar effect like in mobile phones. So you have more warmer picture. Uh, but in normal way, it works uh, this way as above. C74, uh, so uh, in this one we talk about range of three products, uh, 55, 65, 75. This is QLED product, but based on slightly different approach. Uh, we have it, you can look inside in another room. Uh, so we use uh, white uh, backlight, uh, we add quantum dot uh, green, and then we cover, uh, we do 90% of color volume. Uh, with uh, slightly uh, lower uh, DCI P3 coverage versus uh, full quantum dot. But nevertheless, uh, 800 nits of peak brightness, uh, then with boost co coming, uh, going even up to 1000 nits. Uh, with uh, dimming zones, so you will see how it is designed. Uh, we have from 140 to 220 dimming zones and all the gaming functionalities uh, we talked uh, in the previous product also for motion. If you ask about the differences uh, between uh, 735 and 745, you see it this way. The 735 was generally global dimming uh, only with uh, 98 inch uh, with uh, almost 200 dimming zones and then was generally basic brightness 350. Here we significantly increase this uh, brightness. Uh, we also add uh, all the gaming uh, functionalities you need. I talk about this difference in terms of uh, quantum dot, you see it here. So then there is slight difference in terms of coverage because spectral power is uh, a bit uh, different. But uh, in terms of uniformity, uh, we have uh, also very good uh, result in this product and the way how APL works and then how the contrast, ANSI contrast for local dimming on and off works, uh, you see it also here. And our third uh, proposal is 98 inch. So this is the major reason why we meet here because uh, for many of you it was rocket science to get 98 inch. Uh, we even propose to send the installation teams uh, to install and uh, then uh, uh, to let you use it for one month. But then uh, you were always saying, no, 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 my wife disagree and so on. So then I cannot make it. So that's why we have you here. Very good uh, for us. Uh, so 98 uh, uh, looks uh, this way uh, with 192 dimming zones, uh, uh, quantum dot uh, color. Uh, then also peak brightness of 800 nits. You have do all the measurements. So everything we have in products we talk about, we have also here. Then we come to the point, uh, does it make sense or not? We believe that it makes sense because uh, if you compare it uh, to different products on the market, uh, this is one of the best uh, solutions or the best proposals you can get uh, uh, for, for your living room. And honestly, uh, more you sit in front, more you are convinced that you take it. Uh, so we have for you comparison with this uh, Samsung uh, triple laser beamer. Uh, you will see it and then you will experience it. Honestly, there was no plan from our side, but we were pushed so much by one of the reviewer uh, to do it that finally we did it. We organized the, the screen, we organized also the beamer, and that's why we have it also for you. 
And then if we go with this Beamer story deeper, so you see that, okay, the Beamer comes with 2,800 ANSI lumens, but in reality, when you compare it to 98 inch, we talk about 85 nits of brightness. Maths you have in the corner, how to calculate ANSI lumens uh, to nits on the screen. Uh, you will be able also to see it. Of course, you can say that color coverage of the triple laser beamer is excellent, but there is no content uh, which you can use. Nobody will ever produce 106% REC 2020 content. And uh, then you see that screen resolution, okay, it's UHD versus DLP, which is, you know, unable to do HDR. So it is in general uh, uh, SDR mapping, but you can do it by yourself. You can look on it uh, and uh, then you can do all the comparisons. So all the measurements for other products you see here. Also, how, is the, how it looks for... Uh, color performance and uh, then for uniformity uh, you see also here and uh, then for contrast you see here so I don't know if you notice but generally all the native uh, ratio panel contrasts were 7000 to 1 more or less uh, so in this one is 5000 to 1 but it is still VE panel there are only slight technology differences but anyway it is still far far away from uh, IPS uh, panels and uh, then, okay, 500 nits all of uh, full white uh, APL going uh, up to here uh, in movie mode, uh, 700 nits. Okay, C64, you might also get for tests, but this is not our uh, proposal for you. So then it's just uh, the third uh, new product, but will cover uh, many sizes. Uh, and But this is based on different platform, uh, 60 Hertz, uh, QLED, uh, uh, also with uh, 120 Full HD for gaming, so it might be the future story for your tests.